members of the royal family were bewildered. But Queen Elizabeth II herself accepted the naming of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's daughter, Lilibet, with good grace and saw it as a compliment, it has been claimed. In his upcoming biography Elizabeth, an intimate portrait, author Giles Brandreth revealed details about the relationship between the Duke and Duchess of Sussex with the late monarch. The book is serialized in the Daily Mail and Mail on Sunday. It mentions that, unlike other members of the firm, the Queen was receptive to the baby being named after her pet name, with which she was known among her family. Giles Brandreth noted, Others in the family found the choice bewildering and rather presumptuous, given that Lilibet, as a name, had always been intimately and exclusively the Queen's. Later, the Queen said, I hear they're calling her Lily, which is very pretty and seems just right. Speaking on one episode of her podcast Archetype, the Duchess of Sussex said that welcoming daughter Lilibet had changed her view of what makes a good role model. She said, I first just had Archie, now I'm a mum of a daughter. Whether I thought it was going to happen or not, it did. I see the world differently through how she is going to see the world and how she is going to look at certain women as role models. On the recent podcast episode, Meghan spoke of the family's chaotic morning routine. Ms. Garibaldi said, to add to the chaos, her 16-month-old daughter has started walking. The mother of two said, on her podcast Archetypes, Lilla Bays, a year and a couple of months old. In the thick of it, toddling. In an earlier episode of Archetypes, Megan revealed how she would feel if Archie and Lilibet grew up and wanted careers in the entertainment industry. The mother of two claimed that she would be totally behind her children if they followed in her footsteps.